At the tiniest scale imaginable, far beyond atoms and quarks, space-time itself begins to lose its smoothness. This is the realm of quantum foam, a concept first proposed by physicist John Wheeler. Imagine zooming into the very fabric of the universe, down to a length called the Planck scale, roughly 1, 6, 6, 10, 35 meters. At this unimaginable smallness, the universe isn't a calm and continuous expanse. Instead, it behaves more like a violent, frothing ocean. Quantum foam refers to this chaotic, ever-changing texture of space-time at those microscopic levels. It's a place where the classical idea of a smooth space breaks down completely. According to quantum field theory, the vacuum of space isn't empty at all. It seeds with activity. Virtual particles constantly pop in and out of existence, borrowing energy from the vacuum itself before vanishing again in accordance with Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. This quantum fluctuation creates a jittery, foamy structure that distorts the geometry of space-time. In this foam, distances and even time become fuzzy. Tiny wormholes might flash into existence and then disappear. Space-time itself ripples unpredictably, so much so that trying to define a fixed position or time becomes meaningless. This is the limit of the smooth space-time model that Einstein's general relativity depends on. In Einstein's universe, gravity curves the fabric of space smoothly. But at the Planck scale, quantum effects dominate, and that fabric becomes erratic and discontinuous. Quantum foam is more than just a theoretical curiosity. It's a central piece in attempts to unify gravity with quantum mechanics. The smooth world of relativity and the discrete world of quantum physics collide here. Several quantum gravity models, such as loop quantum gravity and certain formulations of string theory, try to account for this foamy nature. They suggest that space-time may be woven from discrete loops or strings, with quantum foam as its fundamental texture. Though we can't observe quantum foam directly, it's far too small for today's technology. We might one day detect its effects in the behavior of high-energy particles or the scattering of light from distant galaxies. Until then, quantum foam remains a fascinating glimpse into the potential chaos at the foundation of everything we know, a reminder that even the empty void of space might be more alive than we ever imagined.